What is going on guys? I'm Consumer Tech Review and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Red Dragon M808 Storm Ultra Lightweight Gaming Mouse. I'm going to jump back to when I got this, do the unboxing, and then we're going to fast forward to today and I'm going to give you my full review of using this gaming mouse. And if at any point in the video you guys want to check out this exact same mouse, I'll have Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. And I will also have the Red Dragon store link below and use my code CTR5% to get 5% off your order. And it does help support me and the channel, which I would definitely appreciate. So take it away, past consumer tech review. All right, guys, unboxing the Red Dragon Storm M808. Oh my God, am I excited. And this is exactly how it came in this awesome plastic case. It's not a cardboard case. It's literally plastic with Red Dragon on it. Let's get right to it. Open this baby up. So there's literally four tabs on it. Opening it in three, two, there she is. Wow, does that look good. Now this is the honeycomb design, the ultra lightweight mouse. She is lightweight, that's for certain. All right, right away, we got some kind of shiny black on the side with the honeycomb pattern a texturized oh very texturized button on the side another one right there let's do a little sound test whoa those sound way better than i expected them to there's gonna be rgbs right here and right there again got the honeycomb on the side uh you got the honeycomb design on the top and you can see literally all the way down to the table i mean look at that all honeycomb on the bottom mode switching button on the bottom obviously Right there, three buttons on the top. Get a sound test to each one of those. They all sound really good, really good clicks. Then we have the left and right click. Let's get a sound test of those. Oh, those are nice and crisp, man, I love those. Now this braided cable feels really, 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 really good. Right out of the box, guys, I gotta tell you, I was so excited for this mouse to come in. This braided cable feels super light, like, you can kind of actually move the weave. It's definitely lighter than most mice. And I'm not even meaning that like a gimmicky thing. Like you can see, this just like falls normally like a light string would. Obviously you got the Red Dragon sticker and you got the Storm 808 little pamphlet right there, little manual. Let's put a mouse pad down, see how this baby does. Now this thing, mm, I am excited about this. Those feel really, really good, especially, yeah, they feel really, really good. It's not uncomfortable, it's quite comfortable actually. Now let's plug this baby in, turn these lights off and see what that RGB looks like. And those are the RGBs right there. That looks really good. You can actually slightly see the RGBs through the honeycomb, which I do not mind. You got the RGB going along this right here and the mouse top. Man, that just looks really clean. It is definitely lightweight. I mean, this thing, this thing, the biggest thing, man, is this cable right here. It's so freaking light. I mean, you just, it does not, there, if, if I hold it like this, it doesn't it doesn't change how the mouse moves, and that's super huge. But right now, we're gonna jump forward one week to my full review of this after I've been using this for a week. In three, two, and we are back. Now I gotta be honest with you guys, I have not used this thing for a week because as soon as I got it, I have just been playing the heck out of games, testing this thing, and loving every minute of it. Let's move on to the first pro of this thing, which is the build quality. So on top, you have that honeycomb design with the holes through it. So good. You can see literally all the way down to the desk that it's on. Perfect, perfect. So of the honeycomb design on the top shell, there is no just like flat line of ending the honeycomb. Uh, it slowly kind of disperses on the bottom and on the top where the clicking buttons are, the left and right clicks are. Then on the left and right edges of it, you have a honeycomb pattern, not cuts, but just a small honeycomb pattern that is kind of a grippy, surface area and they did a really good job on that now obviously when you pick this up it's not going to feel super super premium because all of those ultra lightweight don't because part of what feels super premium and solid is feeling heavy so it's really well built but it's still very light and also as you guys saw the unboxing experience was quite good in this awesome like case very very cool i'm actually going to keep that case and like put camera gear in it so Thank you, Red Dragon. Now this mouse is not the lightest mouse in the entire world. However, it's very light for the price. It is 85 grams and that's very, very good. Moving on to the RGB. 
we got RGBs on the top kind of side of it right before you get to the left and right clicks and it goes along and it looks very, very good. Then you also have it on the scroll wheel. Now all of that is customizable through their software, which is actually really, really easy to download, really easy to set up and do everything. They do have presets for your programmable buttons, which is another pro later. Uh, they have those so you can just change the RGBs so you never have to actually get the software to change the RGBs right out of taking it out of the box, which I love that Red Dragon does that. They do it with almost all their products and it's really just so nice to be able to just take it out, test out the whole product without ever having to download anything. You don't need software to get this mouse up and running, which is not true for some budget mice like the Razer, which is actually quite a bit more expensive than this mouse. So you can do a rainbow, a static color, a wave. You can do this cool little like streak back thingy, looks awesome. Moving to the next pro. This mouse has 12,400 DPI, a 1000 Hertz pulling rate, 30 Gs of acceleration, then 200 IPS, and you have four different profiles that you can customize through the software for the DPI. So on the bottom of the mouse, there is a button that you can customize to change the DPI, but you can also change that to all of the programmable buttons. So if you wanted to change DPI with some of the programmable buttons on the top, you can do that, but on the bottom, you got a button, you press it in and it will change the DPI. You can set all of those four profiles to whatever you want. So if you want a 12,400, you want a 3,000, which is about where I keep it. You can change all that to that. And then right before you're gonna go in game, bam, click it over 12,000 DPI, you're ready to go. Now at this price point with being ultra lightweight and all this stuff that it offers you so far, it's been freaking amazing, especially for gaming, right? Cause that's what you're gonna be doing most of the time with this mice, this mouse, I keep saying mice instead of mouse. Now let me tell you one of my favorite things with this mouse which is the cable so if you guys use wired mice it's gonna pull the mouse a lot uh, if you have kind of a stiff cable so the cable on this thing is the super soft braided cable that's extremely lightweight and I know like a lot of this stuff is kind of marketing that like like the mice and their company will tell you this is not marketing this is like night and day difference it's so freaking good and it's very hard to go back to a normal mouse after this you literally never ever ever feel pull on the mouse it doesn't happen the cable literally it feels like it is a wireless mouse and i normally use a wireless mouse so i know exactly how that feels and i also use a wired mouse so i know both of them without the lightweight i use a wired mouse without the lightweight i know how both of those feel very very off the top of my head like i got i can just feel it in my brain this feels like a wireless mouse it's that good and the next pro you got seven programmable buttons you can pretty much do whatever you want do that there's stuff through the software it's good seven of them you got a lot of them three on top two on the sides some some other places it's good and the last and final pro is that you can get it in white or black now guys moving to the cons there's only one con and it's really not that big of a deal the con is the scroll wheel feels kind of mushy it's tactile so it's got the like the small not clicks but just you know little tactile bumps um however it feels a little bit mushy but i am coming from using an mx master for like editing video and the mx master arguably has one of the best scroll wheels ever on a mouse it's so freaking good so yes, it's probably not gonna be quite as good as that one. However, whole nother price range, but that's the only thing that I wasn't like completely perfectly happy with. This thing is, it's budget, right? It's not super budget, but it's definitely in a price range where most of you, if not all of you could afford to buy this mouse. It's so good. And if you're looking for a lightweight mouse, it's perfect. All right, it, it literally is perfect. It did everything that I was hoping and more, honestly, I was not expecting the cord to be so good. It's Mm. I highly recommend this mouse to you guys if you do want an ultra lightweight mouse for well under 40 bucks. I, mean, I think this thing is like 30 something. Well, well worth it. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, help me out and throw a like below. I have absolutely been playing the heck out of games lately. If you guys are on my Snapchat, definitely hit me up on Snapchat. I posted on there. I've absolutely been loving doing this, just using the mouse all day, gaming. It's been so much fun. And if you're into gaming tech reviews and tech reviews in general, consider subscribing to my channel. We're trying to get to 10K before Christmas, but man, it's gonna happen probably at the beginning of November. It's insane. I think we're at like 8,700 subs or something right now. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you for all the love. Every single video I post, you guys have just been commenting the best stuff. And you guys have been giving me recommendations. Thank you so much. I will be doing a top five gaming mouse under 50 video very soon i'm kind of reviewing a bunch of different mice right now trying to get the best ones for you guys but this was consumer tech review and i'll see you guys later